Boys, we've done a whole series going noob to pro in Dungeon Quest, and we got all the way to level 68. Now, if you have a low attention span like me, then here's every episode broken down into just one video. Alright, boys, we're in the brand new Desert Temple. Well, I guess it's not really brand new. Now, I will say I haven't really played this too much. But yeah, boys, I already leveled up, and I'm about to level up again, so... They definitely fixed the XP in this dungeon, which is great, because, like, the XP in this game is trash, bro. I swear, it takes, like, 20 years to get a single level. Like, anything past Ghastly Harbor, and you're gonna spend your entire life's work just grinding out the game. But I'm not even gonna lie, this is actually kind of fun. Like, these spells feel satisfying to use. Yeah, you OG players will remember it, bro. The old Desert Temple, things didn't used to look this good. But this is the first of a very great series, which... I don't know why it'll be great, but it's gonna be hard, bro. Doing this as a solo player, I don't even know how I'm gonna do it. Like, on Yokaya Peaks, I don't even know how I'm gonna be able to beat it. Especially since the legendary chances are, like, extremely low and you kinda need one to be able to solo old dungeons. Yeah, bro, this is gonna be hard. But boys, I will do it for you guys, so you guys can see me suffer. This dungeon kinda feels like King's Castle. Which we'll be getting to eventually, you know. But I don't know, it just kind of reminds me of that. Alright boys, we're at the Sand Golem. I've literally never fought him, but he looks kind of hard. But I'm gonna try my best to do like two episodes a week, which... Should it be too hard? Because these don't take too long to make. But yeah, guys, there's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of content. I'm getting flashbacks to the Sand Giant. You guys remember him, bro? Oh, those were the days. Those were not the days, actually. Those were bad times for Dungeon Quest. Boys, we're already level four. Like we level up crazy, bro. It didn't used to be this way. Like you guys would remember. You OG players would remember. Bro, I swear this guy has like 5 billion health, like he is just not dying. I've been hitting him for like 10 minutes straight, bro. But yeah, the element class that I'm gonna be in this series, I think I'm gonna go both, honestly. You definitely don't wanna be like a specific class, because they're kind of the same thing. Like, they both just use spells, it's not like the sword does any damage anyways. Alright, we beat him, guys. Let's see what we get. There's even like a death animation. Okay, we got a blue, a blue axe. I don't, I don't really know if that's good, but we're about to find find out boys we're about to find out all right let's go ahead and upgrade it <laughs> bro you can already buy stuff right from the start they limit everything besides the things you can buy all right we're gonna put our points into physical power all right let's do hardcore you know i'm, I'm a skilled player you know i can probably beat it easy no problem like I said, I can do hardcore, bro, because I'm a hardcore gamer. Hardcore dungeon quest player. Also, I think you get, like, a health pack from leveling up, so this will be easy, bro. No, 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 no. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Okay. Bro, we're literally gonna no-hit solo this, man. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, what I would recommend you guys do for, like, the very start of your progression is put all of your things into like physical power because physical power you're gonna actually be doing like crazy damage with your sword you're like i'm doing 34 damage per hit where is this in bro where is this in yokaya peaks i swear the swords be doing like actually no damage which is why like there's no difference between warrior or mage they're just literally the exact same thing because of that also we get a new boss called the the sand scorpion you know kind of intimidating i will say like everything about this this dungeon is so much better than the original Desert Temple. Like, anyone who's OG to the game will know, like, how trash that dungeon was. At the time, it was good, but th that was five years ago. Alright, boys, you should be dead soon, you know. Also, guys, if you've been on YouTube, you probably would notice that, like, so many YouTubers are at this game now. Like, I swear, back when I played, or really just back, like, a year ago, this game was dead on YouTube. Like, legit, there was one or two YouTubers that played this game. Now this game, like, everyone's playing this game, bro. Will Dungeon Quest be the next big game on Roblox? You know, I personally hope so, because this game is this game is very near and dear to my heart, and probably to a lot of you guys as well. And I think the new development team is probably capable of getting this game to actually be, like, pretty popular. Honestly, I would like to see that for the game, because really, like, there's not much that- there's not much that's good on Roblox. Like, we have freaking toilet tower defense, and we get- there, there just really isn't that many good games on the platform. It's all just kind of, like, clicky simulators or very annoying pay to win games and i really think that dungeon quest could become popular again but yeah guys at this rate bro we're gonna get to winter outpost no problem 
Also, I thought hardcore would be like so much more difficult. Bro, I thought I would die like instantly. I think on hard mode, I think they actually like add a new boss on hard mode where you like actually jump down and fight him. Cause I have played this dungeon before, but not on a new slot. And also my username, it's subscribe, which is uh definitely something you should do. But yeah, I personally don't like this boss too much. I think he's just kind of like, he has way too much health in my opinion. He does have some kind of fun moves, but they feel pretty RNG in all honesty. But yeah, guys, I want to see some of the new spells in this because, you know, some of them actually look crazy, bro. Like, they honestly look better than the new dungeon spells. All right, we leveled up. Let's see what we get. The, the boss has fallen. Oh my, yo, I got two purples. Is that luck? Is that luck? Oh, and I got one. Warrior armor, no chance. Complete the dungeon on medium again. But we got this warrior armor right here with nine physical power. Boys, we're already dripped out, you know? We're already looking drippy. Honestly though, this this gear looks so much better than like half the stuff in the new dungeons. Like, I don't know why they didn't add a wave defense to this though. Cause like, I don't know, man. I feel like it's kind of weird to have wave defense for every other dungeon besides this one. Like I definitely think they should do some form of wave defense for this. Cause you know, wave defense is just like the best method to grind. All right, guys, we leveled up again. And I was thinking about a change for dungeon quests, you know, I think they should actually add like voice chat lobbies, bro. Cause this game is kind of like a team based game. I feel like voice chat would actually be like really good for this game i don't know bro but also at the same time like being asked for a carry in voice chat is gonna be a lot worse than being asked for a carry in text because you know you can you can kind of just like ignore the text but you can't really ignore someone yelling at you would voice chat actually be a good update you guys got a comment tell me what you think yeah i'm not gonna lie this dungeon has kind of got boring after a little bit but it is very easy so you know that's something good at least also i really love these abilities i don't know why these abilities just feel so fun to use they feel smooth and fluent unlike the, <laughs> the original desert temple ones so i really don't know what the requirement is for the next difficulty i think there's only hard though but i mentioned it in another video like a sky themed dungeon i feel like would actually be insane like wouldn't it be crazy to like have a dungeon in the sky i don't know me personally that just sounds cool and also dungeon quests they just kind of like reuse the idea of doing a forest dungeon with yokai peaks i mean i personally thought it was just kind of ghastly harbor and enchanted forest combined and while it was definitely a good dungeon like it's probably my second favorite dungeon or maybe even favorite in all honesty i really think they should do something like unique like a unique idea to a dungeon and honestly i'm excited i think the one thing that they do have to do for this game though is fix the progression because bro i swear when you get higher level it takes so long to level up and as a new player nobody's gonna want to do that like because everyone just wants to like go to the next thing go to the next thing and if you're making players play a dungeon for like seven hours just to get to the next one well maybe not seven hours but a long time it just really isn't fun the dungeons at the end are very fun like yokaya peaks enchanted forest gilded skies aquatic temple those are all phenomenal dungeons but they're covered up by crap like the underworld like i really think that is currently the biggest problem with this game the progression just takes way too long and having players ask for carries like it just isn't fun all right guys we're about to beat it let's see what we get and we got bro no chance we got a helmet but it is a guardian oh let's go we got a new ability slam the ground down with your fist all right we'll take it you know all right, bro. We're gonna be able to do hard, no problem, you know. And we should also get a new boss. I think we're getting a new boss for this dungeon, so that's gonna be pretty good. I know I've been kind of like yapping for a bit, but dude, I'm just trying to cover up this boring dungeon, man. Like this dungeon, it's fun, but it's kind of just like the same thing over and over again. But hey, we got 205 wisps whatever that gets me but yeah this new ability is actually like crushing through these enemies dude i'm not even doing anything i just press like a single button and then i just instantly kill them bro it is actually satisfying though which is good because it's kind of the only thing this dungeon has for it yeah i don't know i just personally don't think this dungeon really like fits the art style of dungeon quest but i'm not complaining at all this dungeon is like a thousand times better than the old desert temple 
Yeah, bro, that's crazy that we just one-shot them. We are about to be the best. We're about to be the best Dungeon Quest player. Top of the leaderboard. Top 100, I think. But guys, it's actually been quite a while since we got a last dungeon. Like, you guys remember how long ago Yokaya Peaks was? Bro, it was like five or six months ago. Honestly, like, we should actually be talking about a new dungeon because, you know, I think it's actually pretty soon. And the Sky Dungeon. Like, the Sky Dungeon would be crazy. All right, boys, the boss should be dead, and now we should get another one, right? I think there's another one down here. Oh, okay, well. Okay, guys, so at level 30, we can actually play Winter Outpost. I think I'm gonna grind it out for you guys, and we're gonna get to Winter Outpost. Guys, guys, like I said, I will become the best Dungeon Quest player, you know? And you guys are gonna see it all in this series. So, uh, definitely subscribe. And dude, I am actually just tearing through them. Yeah, never, never ever invest in stamina. Like, in your first progression, do not invest in stamina. Especially if you're playing alone, like, you're gonna be wanting to do that damage. And this honestly just applies to most dungeons that you're soloing, because healing just takes way too long. It's better to just die than to actually go take out a healing spell, go and heal. It's really just not worth it. Don't worry, guys, it will get better. Once we get to... Wait, when's the first good dungeon? Once we get to Samurai Palace, bro, it's gonna be fun, dude. We're gonna actually have to, like, try. I think another... I think another thing this game definitely should do as well is, like, dungeon lobby matchmaking. So, like, having a special lobby for people of every dungeon. Because I feel like trying to find teammates is just extremely hard. Because you have people from every single dungeon. You have people from, like, over 15 dungeons all in the same lobby. So, I feel like it would be better to just like separate everyone and it would definitely make the game more enjoyable as you can like go and easily find teammates i don't know it's better than having to ask for a carry i think the carrying system uh that, that definitely needs to be reworked but yeah guys we're so close to winter outpost i think just like two more games and we'll be there and we'll get to a downgraded dungeon we'll actually get to a worse dungeon but guys it takes a while for the good stuff to come also we got i think we got a warrior helmet nice let's go these are unfortunately trash though guys i will become the very best player you know you see me right now i'm just a noob i'm just a little a novice player but we, but we will become the best and you guys will see it all in one series level level one well i guess level 25 now all the way to level whatever the highest is i'm trying to see what the new spells are though because i feel like there's more than these three i know there's probably like more but i got freaking battle shout whatever that is bro like the trashiest spell in the game but guys we leveled up again so yeah i don't really know like what the problem is with this dungeon it is a very good dungeon but i feel like it's a bit linear almost where you're just kind of walking down paths and i think that kind of hurts the game because i don't know i personally prefer dungeons like ghastly harbor where you're actually like d walking down these really like cool bridges and stuff you're climbing up stuff i don't know me personally i don't really i don't really like these straightforward dungeons where you're just kind of walking down paths but boys we are so close we are so close to winter outpost yeah i remember in the first noob to godly series it took me like four hours to get to the winter outpost dude four hours of doing nothing bro doing this freaking boring dungeon bro and boys we got uh wait, what is this golden palm axe that actually looks kind of good i'm not gonna lie yeah this is already doing like 30 more damage and it's not even upgraded so i think i'll put i think i'll probably max this yeah you definitely don't want to upgrade weapons too much because weapons are very expensive all right boys i think this is the last game and we'll finally be able to do winter outpost and dude, I'm literally two-shotting all of them. And bro, my damage is crazy. I think if I really got all my stuff maxed out, I could probably one-shot them with my sword. Which is actually insane, like, considering the fact this is- Considering the fact that this is the highest dungeon I can do? Yeah, bro, it's crazy. Dude, it feels like I'm on my main account. Alright, boys, we finally leveled up. Just one more level up and we'll finally- Finally, bro, we'll finally be- at winter outpost you know it's a it's a dream come true to finally be there i'd say finally like 50 times bro i swear but yeah boys i think i'll be able to drop next episode this week because it's it doesn't seem too hard to make 
I have high hopes for this game, you know. Also, do you guys remember Fabled Legacy? Yeah, that game died fast, but that was actually kind of a fun game. Well, I didn't really play it too much, but I thought it was an r right game. I think the problem with Fabled Legacy is kind of the problem with Dungeon Quest now, where it just doesn't really, like, have the art style that the game does. I don't know, Dungeon Quest really just has something special about it that can't be replicated, which is undoubtedly why it's the most popular dungeon game. And yo, we, we got- Dude, I didn't know you could get Gale Slice. And we got a, a Mage Cloak. Yeah, that's- that's very lovely. But boys, finally we're on the second dungeon. But this isn't even close to the end, bro. We still have so much more to do. And I hope you guys are ready for the journey. Hopefully we do good on this dungeon, because you know, Desert Temple was pretty easy, but this one, I think it might give us some trouble. Let's see how much damage we do. Oh, never mind. We two shot them. Okay. Our sword definitely isn't doing as much damage, so we definitely need to be a little bit more careful. But yeah, guys, this dungeon is definitely a downgrade to Desert Temple. Like, bro, this is like so much worse, dude. Oh my gosh, I'm about to die. Once we get to Pirate Island, things will start to get good bro we got to do the bad stuff oh i died we got to do the bad stuff for the good stuff to come you know and you guys will see it all in this series like i know i keep saying that but you got to stay with me because this will eventually become good i'm actually about to die again please oh let's go level up clutch bro the level up just saved my life i think it's like level 60 to get to pirate island so we do have a little bit of grinding to go. Let me go and get the Easter egg, you know. Uh, I don't think I got it. Please, please, let me get it. Let's go. Oh, boys, I'm just literally hitting them through walls, dude. Pirate Island will get better. I promise, you know. I know this game. Probably you guys as well, because level 30 is not really high level. <laughs> I do have some stat points to put in though. But yeah guys, we're doing crazy damage because I have everything put into physical power. I think my next goal would be to get a spell called Ground Slam because apparently that spell is like super good, bro. That, that spell will last you all the way until boss raids. Finally, we're on the Ice Elemental. I would say he's better than like one or two of the desert temple bosses but bro he's not amazing but guys i did mention it before in my other video or i guess in the first episode the next dungeon bro i feel like it's coming soon i don't know what it will be but you know hopefully it's good and hopefully they make it less grindy than yokaio peaks because i swear the bro i keep dying it's so annoying yeah i will admit this dungeon is quite a bit harder than desert temple oh my gosh bro he literally almost one shots me bro Dude, I swear these NPCs run faster than me. Look at this. I'm running. Stop. I'm running in a straight line. Dude, I'm running in a straight line. But boys, he should be dead soon, and we definitely need something good, because this is not going to handle it, bro. All right, come on. He should be dead soon. And there we go. And we got absolute garbage. But guys, once I get good gear, bro, I think we're going to hop on wave defense, you know? I feel like wave defense will be a lot better for grinding. Speaking of wave defense, I really think they should add it to Desert Temple. Because the old Desert Temple had it, but not this one. Although, to be fair, getting past Desert Temple takes, like, an hour. It took me, like, 40 minutes to get past Desert Temple. No, stop! Oh my gosh, they're all chasing me. Watch this instantly dead bro yeah i don't even know how we're gonna do pirate island or any of the other dungeons if i'm struggling here it's gonna be crazy yeah i definitely think that the biggest problem with this dungeon is that it's too hard bro like we go from desert temple which is like insanely easy to this which is like super hard bro like i can't even run away from them they somehow managed to hit me when i'm holding s bro it's not fun well, it is actually kind of fun. Yeah, I definitely think that this dungeon should get heavily nerfed because this is hard. Also, the XP I noticed really isn't that good either. Stop chasing me, please. I'm nine health. Come on, please stop. Okay, I think I survived. Yeah, I'm going to try gathering up. I'm going to try gathering them up this time. You know, maybe that's the strat. I'm just going to run, 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 run. All right, boys, we got that group. Let's get this group. Now let's get that group. All right, now we have an army chasing us. Yeah, like 50 minions. And now we have another group. All right, that's the strat right there. Now everyone's dead. Okay, maybe that's not the strat. But yeah, I definitely think this dungeon should be reworked. And then also Pirate Island should definitely be improved. I don't think it necessarily needs a rework, but it, it needs some improvements. And that could really be said about all the dungeons before, like, the Samurai Palace. Alright guys, we're on the Ice Elemental. You know, hopefully we win, because we only have five minutes. 
And like for a noob like me, bro, five minutes, that's literally clutch time, bro. I think if we were to get a new winter outpost, I really wouldn't want to see this boss go away because this boss is actually one of the more enjoyable bosses in the game. I think the idea of Winter Outpost is a good idea, but in practice it's not really an amazing dungeon, mainly because it's just too, like, almost linear, and then all the areas feel kind of repetitive. Besides the bridge area, I like the bridge area, that place is always memorable. Please stop chasing me, stop chasing me, no bro! But yeah, if they were to do one thing with him, dude, remove the spawning of these monsters, because it is annoying. Guys, I'm looking to get like a better sword, or even armor, like honestly armor would be crazy right now. Cause I'm still using, I'm still using level 5 armor, dude. Please give me something good, please. And I got absolute garbage. Alright boys, I'm gonna go ahead and spend my 450 wisps armorous adventure. I feel like I got scammed. Alright, we're gonna hop in wave defense, you know. Hopefully we don't die. I just gotta be very careful, you know. Wave defense is the fastest way to level up. And I definitely need to grind fast, cause like, winter outpost is boring. But guys, I think we have to go all the way to wave 15 just to be able to get an item, so... It's definitely gonna be a little bit harder. We also did level up, so that's good. But guys, I think I mentioned it before, but like an XP boost to all dungeons is something that's super necessary. But for the later dungeons, dude, it takes so long to get leveled up. Like, you guys probably know, if you guys are like anything higher than Ghastly Harbor, bro, it takes hours to level up. So four times XP boost to all dungeons above Ghastly Harbor is definitely something that's needed, because, you know, most people who play this game they like quit before even getting to the highest dungeon but voldex has said that they'll do that so anyone who's lower level anyone who's lower than i guess the max you guys are gonna have you guys are gonna have it good i don't know how much it is but you know hopefully it's enough oh my gosh we are actually low we're only halfway to leveling up so we gotta be pretty careful all right we're on the boss now we have to fight three ice elementals just to even be able to get to the other area oh stop okay there we go ah okay dude i actually gotta clutch this bro because like i cannot do this without being very careful considering the fact that i died like four times on the first ice elemental oh bro why are there so many people in my private server bro who who are you people hey you know I, it's i guess it's good but why bro like i did not like invite any of these people why are they here all right boys we're gonna hop on winter outpost but unfortunately guys the rules of the series is i have to play it all solo which is gonna be extremely hard later on like i've seen what people do to solo noob to godly and bro it is not at all easy especially on later dungeons i don't even know how i'm gonna do it you guys will see me suffer bro but i think i'm skilled enough to be able to pull it off you know i think i'm a good enough player to actually be able to do this because keep in mind i've literally never done this before oh my gosh i'm already low bro if you guys are progressing noob to godly definitely go and get this stomp ability it's called slam bro this thing is an actual godsend right here but guys what do you think about boosts because they actually announced that they would be doing that and they were kind of vague but i really think that boosts could be a good thing for this game but i don't know like what type of boost like would it be damage boost xp boost like i don't know bro legendary chance boost these guys Guys, bro, quit chasing me. I'm trying to yeah, bro. But I think boosts would actually be like pretty good, especially just something to make RNG less RNG. You know, make your chances of getting good drops better. Hey, I'll take it any day of the week, bro. Please, please, bro. Bro, I <clears throat> whatever. But guys, I might actually switch over to mage cuz we have an ice needles and a mage helmet. Or I guess mage cloak, whatever. We literally have nearly the full set to be mage. And we also got Ooh, that's a good sword. What? Wait, no, that's a trash sword. Boys, we're going to try medium mode. It might be a stupid decision. Yeah, I don't know. What is the requirement to medium mode? Oh, wait, it's level 40. But guys, I think I'm going to upgrade this sword, you know, get it to be like a little bit better because, bro, I'm kind of desperate. Wait, how much damage would this do? So I think it would do around 100 and... 74 i don't know if my math is correct it would be 174 it is 377 okay well my math was clearly incorrect but guys i swear like this is my private server i don't know any of these people like there's an actual army in my private server for no reason why i would know but boys i think we're gonna run hardcore you know it might be dumb but i really want more loot man i need armor i need weapons and i don't have any of that we are going through hardships in the noob to godly. But you know, 
It will get better, bro. If you look into the moon, you know, we will become the best, the best Dungeon Quest player, bro. Yeah, you gotta be very careful when you play Winter Outpost. Because it seems pretty easy, but it is by no means easy, dude. I would say Winter Outpost is honestly, like, harder than some of the mainline dungeons, bro. Just because of how fast the monsters move. Like, they move so fast, it's insane. Please stop! Okay, I'm chilling. But guys, what do you think about a banking system? Because they said that they would actually do that, and it honestly seems like it could be pretty decent. I think pretty much what that means is, like, you can put your, like, legendaries and stuff into a bank, rather than having to use, like, an alt and stuff. So yeah, that would be actually good. But I think another thing that would really be necessary would be to make it so where you can't sell legendaries and legendary spells. Because, dude, I think I sold, like, a legendary spell by accident. It was a depressing time. It's like selling is so tedious and inconvenient, and you have to be very careful. Like, if you have legendaries and stuff, you have to be selective of, like, how you sell, because you can very easily accidentally sell a legendary. So yeah, I think you should be able to, like, lock items and make it so where you can't sell them no matter what, or I guess until you unlock them. And yeah, I don't think that would be a hard change to make, bro. Also, bring back infinite storage, because we now have 300, and we've had it for a while, but bro, this used to be infinite. You used to be able to have as many items as you wanted dude we are actually tearing through their health bro it is crazy yeah hardcore it's not hardcore it's easy core that was extremely cringe i gotta be very careful of these monsters once they spawn like you gotta keep your distance bro because you do not want to get close to this guy yep now they're spawning bro i swear they move like three times faster than me boys what is nightmare gonna look like keep in mind this is just easy just go like this oh, run 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 all right he's dead he's dead let's go and we got absolute garbage all right boys we're gonna go ahead and like sell all of our loot because like we just keep getting trash i don't think i got one good item this entire progression bro yeah let's sell all this dude i wish i could say we need gold but we do not have anything to upgrade because we keep getting trash. But this should be our last attempt on easy mode, and then we can finally go on to medium. But bro, I'm gonna grind it out, you know? I'm not gonna do like one difficulty per every video, bro. You're gonna see me go up like a dungeon every time. Well, maybe not this time, but... But yeah, Pirate Island is soon, bro. You might see Pirate Island like this week or next week, bro. That's gonna be a crazy time. Now, I've actually never been to Pirate Island on Noob to Godly. Because on the last series, bro, the highest I made it was Winter Outpost, dude. Then I just kind of like quit. But yeah, we are actually like tearing through them, bro. But guys, the main question is... Do you guys think this game can be popular again? We are definitely going in the right direction. The changes that the development team has made have been very good for the game. And you guys might have noticed, like, Dungeon Quest actually has, like, quite a bit more players now. Like I said before, this game is very fun, but there are changes that need to be made so where everyone can enjoy the game. That comes to, that comes down to progression, bro. This is the one game I want to become popular again, because this is like one of the only not pay to win games. It's one of the games that aren't really like simulator-like. I guess it's kind of like a simulator, but you kind of get what I'm saying. It's a unique game. And I'm sure all you guys would like to see this popular. Cause you know, the more players this has, the more updates we get. But guys, I think another thing that they should add, like if this game was to really get popular, is kind of more options to progression. Like, we have currently wave defense and regular gameplay. I feel like there should be like another option, like maybe kind of like a boss raids thing almost for every dungeon. I know that's kind of a bad reference, but something else than just doing the same dungeon over and over again. Because the more variety this game has, the better it will do. We also got- oh, that's actually not bad. And they're still, like, forcing these purchases down my throat, dude. I don't want to buy your items, bro. Alright, well, we're gonna retry the dungeon. Bro, the luck is not on my side. But yeah, I really wonder, like, what they could do for another game mode. Because, really, like, I'm not the devs, bro. I don't have that good of ideas. But, like, three different game mode choices, like, wave defense, regular dungeons, and then something else. I feel like could really help this game. Also, I think the loot drops should be like quite a bit better. Like definitely old dungeon legendary chances should be probably like five or six times higher because bro, like getting a legendary in this game is very, very hard. And even like, even right now, my like this playthrough right now is an example of how bad the loot drops are like i've gotten nothing but weapons i didn't even get a single spell bro 
So a change would be definitely adding better loot drops, cause bro, I am not getting anything. Maybe that's just cause I'm unlucky, but I, I don't think luck should decide it. I think they should also do like a pity legendary system, pretty much giving legendaries no matter what once you reach a certain area or a certain level. So pretty much what that would do is if you haven't already dropped a legendary, you'll just automatically be guaranteed one for playing the game. Obviously you'd have to play like quite a bit, but I feel like that would take away RNG from the game. So like the people who are very unlucky can actually get their legendary through I guess pity. And that could work with like cosmetics as well, like you get a pity cosmetic, maybe at like level 100 from a dungeon. Realistically, RNG never really helps a game, like RNG is just very annoying for the player. It doesn't make the game fun, but I think Dungeon Quest definitely needs a little bit of RNG, but I think RNG for the most part should be limited to Dungeon Quest. But guys, comment below about what you think about a pity legendary system. Do you think everyone should be guaranteed a legendary if they don't drop one? Oh no, I died. Well, at least I leveled up, you know. But boys, we can finally do medium mode. See, now I'm gonna grind it out for you guys. Like I said before, we're gonna grind. We are gonna become the best Dungeon Quest player. Bro, what is a level 40 doing here? This is my private server. What is this guy saying? I am giving you my server and you just start like insulting me, bro. All right, well, let's see how we do on medium mode. I'm definitely not doing hardcore because uh, I will die pretty quickly. And yo, this damage is actually good. Bro, I literally two shot them still. Yeah, maybe medium isn't as hard as I thought. Bro, 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 he keeps one shotting me. No, stop, 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 stop. I'm 39 health, please, please. I can't even play the game. I, I, I literally can't even play the game. Come on, please. Okay, there we go. All right, let's go. I have to really clutch up because I only have six minutes left. And these guys like one tap me, dude. The blockheads in their like free model swords. Really free models in general. Bro, I swear like a five-year-old could probably make a better dungeon than this. I'm not, I'm not dissing the game at all, but it, it's bad, bro. Like, I think we can all agree that this dungeon is not really that good. In my opinion, it's the second worst. Very, very closely followed by Underworld. Please. All right, we actually got to clutch this though. Like, this is going to be an intense match guys all right let me go ahead and put in my investment points i have three right now all right come on come on stop 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 okay we're surviving dead dude i'm going speed run strats right now we have we have got to clutch this dude once i get to pirate island i'll be able to one shot these guys but yeah guys my main goal right now is to get better spells because these spells they're decent but I, I need new ones bro and also armor like still using the bad armor right here level freaking five armor bro i don't even know how i'm able to like do media mode all right come on die die okay dang we only have four minutes and we have to do a hundred thousand damage this is gonna be really intense, guys. Come on, come on. I feel like I'm the last player in the dungeon. Everyone's relying on me. Although no one really cares. But this is by no means easy. I would not at all recommend you do solo noob to godly. It is hard, and you are gonna die a lot. Come on, come on. No, no, bro. We have to clutch this up. We have to clutch this up. No, 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 please, 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 please. Bro, I'm someone who's at the highest dungeon struggling on Winter Outpost. That is actually crazy. Stop! I can solo Yokai Peaks, but I can't do the freaking Winter Outpost medium. Come on, please, please, please. I don't have much time left. Only two minutes and two seconds. Boys, but I think we might be able to win this. No, no, stop, bro. Oh, only one minute left on the clock, bro. We gotta really be... We gotta really clutch this up, man. I think we can win, though. I seriously think we can win. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, let's go, bro. We got absolute garbage. Dude, I still cannot get over how this dungeon looks, bro. It looks so cool. If you guys are new, like, they completely reworked this dungeon, and it might just be the best rework in this game. I think this dungeon really just, like, does a good job at doing what Winter Outpost before couldn't do. Like, the earlier Winter Outposts, it's not even comparable to this. But yeah, guys, we're already close to leveling up. Like, I think we're gonna level up so much faster in this one. And boys, will we make it to Pirate Island today? I don't know, we might actually. But this dungeon is quite a bit harder, because, like, they have a lot of- they actually have a 
lot of moves, so... Like, I actually gotta be kind of careful. Yeah, boys, I can't just mindlessly do the dungeon. I actually have to try it. But if you guys have seen the legendaries, dude, they look sick, bro. Maybe I'll actually get my hands on one of them. But guys, I'm excited for the higher dungeons, bro. Getting on to, like, Samurai Palace, Canals, Ghastly Harbor. Dude, that's actually gonna be crazy, bro. Also, I am just, like, absolutely getting destroyed. We will become the best. Just like I said at the start of the series, bro. Yeah, this guy, this guy is actually like so hard though. All right, we beat the first boss. Now we're close, close to the final area. And guys, I think we can almost do hard mode. So it's, it's actually gonna be crazy. But guys, we are at the final boss, the Cryonics Ice Elemental. And he is a lot better than the original one. But guys, I really wanna get my hands on a legendary because apparently there's a pretty high chance of dropping one. Ah, please. Please, I I'm 18 health, man. These bosses are extremely tanky, though. Like, these are some of the most tanky bosses I've ever fought. Like, bro, it takes me, like, 50 million hits to kill them. Dude, I actually think this this Winter Outpost is harder than the original. Like, the only thing that's easier is the movement speed of the monsters. But everything else just feels quite a bit harder, man. Like, this is by no means an easy dungeon. Like, again, I died again. But guys, we might actually hop on the original one as my very last dungeon. But for old time's sake, bro. We start there, we gotta end there. Well, maybe. And we got... Ooh, what is this? Taunting... Oh. That is actual garbage. But guys, I actually went and got my daily reward, and honestly, I might just switch to mage, because we got, like, this thing... Wait, that's a warrior weapon. Uh, but we got, like, a mage cloak right here. We got, uh, two mage abilities as well. So I don't know, maybe I'll switch. All I need is mage armor, so I'm gonna wait until I get mage armor. But this sword right here, this sword is crazy, bro. I'm predicting it right now, it's gonna be 1,000 plus damage. Let's see, let's see. And I was right, 1,100. So yeah, guys, we're already getting our hands on new gear. But yeah, bro, at level 50, we can do hard mode, so it's gonna be exciting. Boys, I'm doing hardcore, so I actually gotta really lock in. I cannot be selling at all. I don't know if I'm mentally prepared for hardcore mode. Oh my gosh, I took so much damage. Yeah, these pathways are so narrow, so you gotta be very careful at how you move. Just hold S and run, bro. But guys, honestly, I'm pretty ready for the next dungeon. Like, I'm actually working on a huge video, which will cover, like, everything we know about the dungeon after Yokai Peaks, because you guys have to realize, Yokai Peaks was over five months ago, so honestly, we're due for a new dungeon. And boys, we leveled up again. I'm being like as carefully as physically possible, dude. I do not want to die. Ah, stop! Okay, I survived. I survived. But yeah, honestly, this series has been so fun so far, dude. Playing the new Desert Temple, playing Winter Outpost, playing now this version of Winter Outpost. It's been crazy, bro. While we haven't had like too good of luck, I've still had fun. Yeah, bro, cause I'm still using I'm still using Desert Temple stuff. And, uh, I'm about to get to Pirate Island, so it's not really looking amazing. Also, I am 70 health. Please, my brother. Thank you. Dude, I actually got to lock in so hard. Come on, please. No, no! All right, guys, attempt two. You know, I think we can do it this time, bro. I think we can do it. Now, guys, honestly, what would you guys think about, like, a Pirate Island rework? Because, I mean, they've already reworked the first two dungeons, and Pirate Island isn't amazing, so I feel like it could also get a rework and still be pretty decent. I don't know. I think, like, all of the old dungeons should get at least some form of modification to where maybe, like, the monsters are a little bit better, you know? But, boys, what I think should happen even more is, like, bringing back wave defense to newer dungeons dungeons because i'm sure you all know it by this point but wave defense got pretty much canceled at ghastly harbor and it's been kind of sad and i do get why they took it away but now there's like a whole dev team doing like a wave defense update i, I died again what bro is this game all right we're gonna definitely not do hardcore but guys like i was saying before a wave defense update would be really cool to newer dungeons all right but we're, we're definitely not doing hardcore mode because i am not mentally prepared for that but boy we are so close to hard mode and soon we'll be on pirate island yeah right now we're still kind of low level but i think like in a couple of videos once we get to like king's castle underworld bro we'll actually be kind of crazy bro also what do you guys think of trading should i actually go and do that in the series i'm gonna really need the best loot possible in order to be able to win the new dungeons and really, the only way you can get that is through trading. But yeah, look at these monsters. Like, they, they look crazy. Also, I 
Dude, I literally hate the beam guys. I, I don't know, but they just, like, they've been the only reason why I've died. Dude, look at that. The stupid beam guys, bro. I'll try to show you it again. See that right there? That right there? The blue thing, bro. It, it needs to get nerfed, man. I swear, 50 times I've already died to that. Yeah, this guy, this, this is a hard boss right here. Like, even for me. Like, how does he move so fast? Guys, I think we're kind of struggling right now. All right, come on. Come on, please die. I don't think there's like a chance on earth I'm doing hardcore mode. Not even a chance, bro. But guys, I'm excited to see the new spells in this because they, I'll show you one of them, bro. They look actually sick. This right here is a taunting spell, but then they also have this, which is, that is insane, bro. Look at that. I don't know about you guys, but I honestly think these spells are like be better than the ones in Yokai Peak. So yeah, that really speaks to the next dungeon. Also, guys, I think I already mentioned it before, but honestly, I want to see the like the next dungeon drop like before summer dude because it's been so long already i see a lot of people like complaining about it because bro we should not have to wait like six months just to see a new dungeon it made sense with v caffey as a developer as he was like a single guy but there's a whole development team now but they're doing these dungeons so i guess i can't really blame them ah okay you gotta really keep your range on this boss like if you don't keep your range he will destroy your life. Boys, we're actually gonna level up next round, and then we'll be on Pirate Island. I'm hyping it up a lot, but honestly, I think it might be worse than this dungeon. I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of Pirate Island. Just because of the, like, area it's in, it's just not that cool in my opinion. Because you're just kind of, like, sitting in a cave the entire game. But the final boss area is cool. Alright, and he should be dead. Let's see what we get. And I got a downgraded version of what I already have. Dude, we are so close to leveling up. Literally just 20,000 more XP. Guys, I really love this dungeon, but I have, like, my biggest complaint would have to be the monsters. They are really, really tough to beat. Especially the beam guys, which I already talked about. Not fun at all. I think this dungeon is slightly better than the Desert Temple rework. As much as I like that one, I do think it is better. But I think the monsters are 10 times harder, bro. For the first time, Pirate Island might actually be easier than this dungeon. Alright, boys. Well, we did level up, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish the dungeon. Because, you know, I need at least a standing chance against hard mode. And in hard mode, we can actually get legendary legendary so you know if my luck is good enough i might just drop one but my my luck right now is cursed bro it's actually cursed because I, I still have i still have level 15 armor level 5 armor and spells that are level one dude i think something that should be added to this game this guy is tough bro I'm not, I'm not gonna lie i think he is slightly easier than the second boss though please give me something good please and i got absolute dog well boys we're gonna do hard mode but guys to get into pirate island we actually have to be level 60 so you know we're on the grind but let's go ahead and do hard mode oh wait i, I think i joined the wrong one uh all right there we go now we're in the right place dude i need to drop something good from this bro just give me a mage armor Wait, no, 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 don't give me a mage armor. Give me a warrior armor, please. Yeah, because I'm doing, like, baby damage to these guys. It's actually kind of puny. But, guys, if I really lock in, I think I could probably win this. Because, you know, I wouldn't really consider myself to be, like, a bad dungeon quest player. But I I'm not exactly great at the game. Dude, if I can't beat this, that's going to be kind of embarrassing. And, yeah, boys, we're still putting all of our things into physical power. Because, you know, I need to be doing as much damage as possible, dude. I do not have any room for health. But we do enough damage to be able to win but yeah if i even get guardian armor just something that can help me bro right, come on come on please bro i'm actually so locked in dude i'm going speed run strat but guys did you know like they actually people used to actually speed run this game before like there was a whole like discord server and everything and honestly speed running this game would seem kind of fun because there's a lot of different strats that go into it. It's not like you just use your spells and do it normally. But people kind of stopped doing it, unfortunately. I would honestly like to see more Dungeon Quest speedrunning. But boys, this is an actual train wreck. I am not at all doing well. And these guys are like spinning, bro. Come on. Come on. Please. Give me a chance. I'm actually clutching, bro. I'm actually cl Come on. Please. Please. Give me a chance. At least just give me a chance. Come on. Come on. Oh. Gosh, I I'm just getting like spawn killed, bro. This is painful. Dude, I actually might not even win this, and that is embarrassing. 
at the very least. That that will be shameful if I don't win this. You, you guys don't realize this looks easy, but this is not by any means easy. This is very hard. I would rather do Yokai and Peaks than this. I'm locked in, bro. I'm locked in. I need, I need better gear. Come on, come on. Die already, die. Yeah, the difficulty on this dungeon is way too much, bro. The max level dungeon should be this hard, not freaking Winter Outpost. I, I don't know. It, it is just way too hard in my opinion. It wasn't that noticeable with medium mode, but it is gone. Wow, it is hard right now. But yeah, unless I could beat the boss in 30 seconds, uh, I've definitely lost this bro i'm not even gonna lose i'm just gonna leave the game bro <sighs> that's actually sad i'm gonna be so locked in bro because this dungeon is very hard but pirate island will get easier and it also will probably get more fun in all honesty yeah i'm super locked in right now i we're on pretty good time and i definitely do not want to lose it bro i don't want to get spawn killed again these tight areas are annoying though yeah nerf this dungeon bro honestly this dungeon needs a heavy heavy nerf like i don't know whose idea it was to make it this difficult that person might need to be fired hey i'm just kidding bro i'm just kidding maybe i'm just a noob that can't handle it oh my gosh this dungeon is so hard i'm at 4 hp man this dungeon is insanity yeah i think where winter outpost did a little bit better in like the monsters not being really difficult and being like appropriate to the level this dungeon really failed that but obviously this dungeon is still way better than the original winter outpost and also, like, it looks visually so good. Like, bro, look at this view right here. I'm gonna make this my wallpaper. No, I won't make it my wallpaper. But to you guys who have been watching the series for a while, because it, it has already been a while, it's right now we're on episode 3, and I appreciate you guys. This series has been doing, so far, pretty well in all honesty, which I did not really expect. But you guys aren't even prepared for what's to come, bro. The next dungeons, the next stuff, hopefully our luck gets better. But you know, you guys are with me in this journey and we have two minutes to beat the final to beat the final boss. If I no hit it, which seems kind of unlikely, I'm gonna try to make it oh never mind. This desert temple gear, not a single chance I'll be able to win. Now boys, I accidentally forgot recording, but I did a little bit of trading, and bro, you guys are not gonna believe what I got. Look at that, bro. The Winterborn Legendary, level 51 requirement. Dude, we finally have something good, bro. So, I ended up getting it off some guy, because I got a kind of decent piece for my daily reward. I got, a, like, a purple warrior armor. But boys, finally we got a Legendary, bro. Actually, finally. So guys, we should be able to tear through the dungeon now. Dude, I actually feel so bad because I didn't record that. But we did get a Legendary. And dude, this is gonna be crazy, bro. I don't know why he gave it to me, cause I didn't really give that good of an offer. But hey, you know, that's another that's another story. Hey, dude, look at that! Like I I, I two shot them, yo. Yeah, guys, my luck has finally came up. I guess you guys would see in the last clip me just getting absolutely destroyed by these guys. But now we have a legendary, bro. We have something in life something powerful but guys i'm thinking of trading this in for a mage one and actually going mage because i feel like that will actually be pretty good dude imagine if i lost with the legendary that would probably be the end of my dungeon quest career i really hope it wasn't a viewer that uh traded me because my name literally isn't even like my name on youtube bro it's just subscribe and guys i'm not gonna leak my main name because i want this series to be as fair as possible you know i want you guys as new players to be able to do the exact same stuff as me and get powerful so you know i want to prove that you can still play this game without being like a higher level player you know level and stuff doesn't really mean that you can lose you can do it all as a solo well that's what i hope to prove in this series anyways because the amount of people who ask me for carries it's getting to an insane level bro and to you people just see what i'm doing bro no carries whatsoever all just grinding although i honestly don't blame them because the newer dungeons are very hard but yeah guys this should be the easiest win possible easy win yeah for this boss definitely just walk run circles around them any boss that really moves in this game run circles like just run 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 circles around them i really need some new moves because this what is the move i have they're both desert temple moves this one's 30 this one's one yeah uh, give me something new man i don't know a single new warrior move for winter outpost uh maybe i've just been really unlucky and haven't dropped it but i have not seen anything
I think the moves are really like the hard part about making the dungeons. Like you gotta do the animation, you gotta go and do like the, the thing that shows up. Being a game dev sounds very hard, bro. You guys who do development, you have to tell me because doing videos and doing games is very similar to each other. So yeah, you can either yap or code. And uh, I chose yap. Boys, we're already nearly at the final boss with eight minutes left. So yeah, this is gonna be really clutch, you know. I don't know how many times I've said it already, but we are so close. We are so close to Pirate Island, dude. Six more levels and we'll be there. I'm not saying, but I'm dying so many times, bro. I try to say one word and I just get instantly killed, dude. It is actually not fun. But that's okay, because we got, we got a beautiful thing known as a legendary right here. It is actually getting good. But guys, we're still on week weekly episodes so if you have not already subscribed subscribe for weekly episodes all right come on you're so close man dude he's like one shot come on let me beat him please all right i can sort him to death let's go and we got absolute garbage but guys we are so close dude only five more level ups so yeah we're gonna speed run this and dude i'm excited to finally be in pirate island bro after so long but guys, if you saw, they did actually release a new update called The Hunt. And right now, all we have to do is just obtain some loot, defeat enemies. So yeah, we're going to do that in this episode because we, we definitely need it. But I'm wondering what class I should actually go in Pirate Island because like, I don't know what's good in this game. But guys, what do you think about this new dungeon event? Do you guys like it? Uh... I thought it was kind of mid if I'm being honest, but hey, you know, an update's an update. If you guys remember when V Caffey was the developer, bro, we were not getting updates at all. Dude, this legendary is just tanking through it. If you guys didn't watch last episode, uh, yeah, we got a legendary. And some of you guys called it fake, but it was not fake, bro. Because Dungeon Quest was actually in the hunt, it attracted a lot of big YouTubers. Like, I think Creecraft played the game for a little bit. So it would have done pretty well if the hunt actually had some, like, really cool things. Because, yeah, if I'm being honest, it was way too easy, bro. Now, guys, I actually think I'm going to go Mage in Pirate Island. Because they have a spell called Firebomb, which is going to be really overpowered for them. And, yeah, that stuff just one-shots them. Like, I don't think any warrior spell is better than that. But in this episode, we will be in Pirate Island. So you definitely want to watch, bro. But yeah, I've been playing this dungeon for a while now. And in all honesty, I just think it's too hard. I mean, right now it's not hard because I have a legendary, but not everyone gets legendary, so it's a little bit hard. Okay, we've nearly defeated all the enemies we need because this dungeon has so much- Bro, they keep spawn killing me. Look at this, look at this, look at this. What, what am I supposed to do? Bro, like this, this is just unfair, dude. It's all right. You know, we have to struggle sometimes in the series, but Pirate Island, that's just the start, bro. We still have so much more to do. The future of this series is bright, but it, it's gonna be hard. We're gonna struggle. But once I claim my XP boost, uh, we're gonna be leveling up really fast. We'll get to Pirate Island in no time. Oh my gosh, I'm so low. Stop. Stop. Bro, if I get spawn killed again, I'm gonna be actually so mad. Like, these guys, they keep, they keep spawn killing me. Dude, it's not fun. Like, what is this game right now? What is this game? Okay, I think this is a glitch because I don't think they're supposed to be doing this to you. Like, look at that. Look at that. This is toxic, dude. So yeah, I'm very excited to get to Pirate Island because at least I won't get spawn killed. Yeah, you definitely want to keep your range on this boss. Do not go close to this boss because he will literally kill you and it will not be fun. All right, he should be dead any second now. So yeah, we get one hour of XP and a title called the hunter i'll take it bro i'll take it and also we can go and claim our daily reward now so i pray bro i actually pray that i get something good because armor is the only thing i need right now please just give me armor come on come on come on trash I hate this game i hate this game why why dude how do i keep getting mage armor this is just this is not fair guys i'm gonna commit a deadly sin and upgrade my mage helm and physical power because literally anything will help at this point oh it hurts it hurts this is a mage helm but i need something better right now that is that is painful but yeah boys we have mage armor which is upgraded in warrior and it's still better than my warrior armor and also we can claim another xp boost through favoriting the game which uh i'll definitely go do and dude look at that we're doing so much more damage but yeah i'm really hoping my luck in pirate island is better because even though i did get a legendary i did not get a single piece of armor 
throughout the entire Winter Outpost. A single piece of warrior armor, that is. We are actually, like, so close. This XP boost is actually leveling us like crazy. We've already leveled up three times, I think. Now, I did mention it in another episode, but a Pirate Island rework is something that I think this game might actually see. Because we've already seen reworks to both Winter Outpost and Desert Temple, and Pirate Island isn't really too much better than those. I guess the original versions. So yeah, seeing reworks to the to Pirate Island would be honestly crazy. I'm just waiting for Pirate Island, bro. I think another thing that would be really helpful towards new players, though, is uh, making it more community-based. Because undoubtedly, this game has one of the best communities on Roblox. I actually think it has the single best community on the entire platform. Yeah, even though the community is small, it's a very strong one. Which is kind of what makes playing this game so fun. <laughs> Go and find a party and then grind with the same people for hours. Maybe become friends. I don't know. And that's something that I think new players would very much appreciate. Because playing this game solo, it it's hard. I'm doing it right now. It is by no means easy. Alright, and we leveled up again and got absolute garbage. But guys, looking into the sky... You know, one day we will become pro, and you'll see it all in this series. You know, it's gonna get good from here. But just two more level ups until Pirate Island. But also, another thing is, uh, spells. I definitely need new spells right now, because I'm still using Desert Temple stuff. Really, I think another thing that should be, like, kind of fixed with these early dungeons is the RNG, because there i'm not getting like any good loot i've been grinding this dungeon for hours haven't gotten a single warrior spell haven't gotten a single piece of warrior armor yeah it's been brutal i don't know if maybe i'm just like the world's most unlucky player guys i think where dungeon quest is trying to go it's really trying to get new players into the game because we haven't really gotten any major updates besides obviously like the reworks and that's because they're trying to get new players because you skilled dungeon quest players or i guess you high level dungeon quest players you guys know that the higher dungeons are the better dungeons like the beginning ones are not great if i'm being honest beginning dungeons are really the only ones that new players will see so it's important that they leave a very good impression so that uh people keep coming back you know new players are what's gonna make this game popular and also what's gonna make this game get more updates but boys one more level up until pirate island man it was a journey bro but guys low key i kind of have drip right here bro look at this set dude this set looks better than the yokai peaks one is this drip or is it not I mean, I'm using a warrior legendary with mage armor. All right, so I decided to do my last level up in the OG Winter Outpost. Because, you know, we have to go back to our start. Let's see how we do. And dude, we are not doing any damage, even with this legendary. But yeah, hopefully I get my final level up here. Because, you know, I do have a 2 times XP boost anyways. But yeah, it was kind of crazy how this dungeon actually got updated while I was actually in this dungeon. So imagine if the same thing happens to Pirate Island. Like, I'm playing through Pirate Island and then it updates. That would be kind of crazy. And yeah, playing this, dude, this feels like actual garbage in comparison to the new Winter Outpost. This is the biggest downgrade in history. You guys. This pirate island it's gonna be crazy bro and i wonder how i'll do because i'm not even doing that well in winter outpost i'm gonna kind of struggle dude we're so close but guys if you've played the hunt uh which i'm sure you probably have i wonder if they're gonna do a system like that for actual dungeon quests like continue to do that where we kind of do quests and stuff because you know the game is called dungeon quest so you know like we actually need quests and since that point there was only one quest in the entire game uh which would be the excalibur quest boys we finally finally leveled up we are now level 60 so yeah boys we are about to do pirate island uh i guess i'll finish the dungeon because why not guys i'm kind of worried about pirate island because if we're doing this bad in winter outposts Bro, what is Pirate Island gonna look like? I desperately need a legendary right now. Well, not a legendary, but armor. Or a new spell, actually. Honestly, I could use a new spell. Because Pirate Island isn't like Winter Outpost, you know? It's not gonna be easy. Because, you know, Pirate Island is the raw version. It's not the reworked version. Alright, and he should be dead. Yup, there we go. The final Winter Outpost. It is now officially over. Now, guys, before we get into Pirate Island... Dude, what the frick? What is this? Seize the Seas? Pirate Island Warrior Bundle? 
Bro, the guys, I think Dungeon Quest is slowly becoming more pay to win. Cause for the longest time, you were not able to buy items, but now, now we're able to buy stuff, which I don't know how I feel about that. But boys, we are finally in Pirate Island, dude. After so long. So yeah, let's see how much damage we do. Let's see our damage. Uh, uh, yeah, we're not, we're not winning this, if I'm being honest. We're gonna at least try it, but bro, look at my damage, dude. I'm not even doing a single bit of damage. Oh my gosh, bro, I'm actually doing, I'm actually doing nothing for damage. Guys, it's actually inclining me to go and buy the bundle, but I won't. I definitely won't. Yeah, if you get offered to buy a bundle in this game, please, please do not buy it. The items that they give you have absolutely no meaning in later game. As much as I like the developers of this game and what they're doing, uh, that's just straight up not good at all. But yeah, if I'm being honest, we are not winning this until we get better gear. So I might have to do a little bit of trading. So yeah, I'm just gonna cut to when I get better gear. Alright boys, we're back and we have a little bit better gear, but we did actually go and switch to mage. And, uh, unfortunately, I lost the legendary. But yeah, we got this mage helm and this staff right here. So hopefully we're able to win. But yeah, last round was brutal, if I'm being honest. That, that, that was brutal. Come on, please be good. Please be good. Uh, I'll take it, I guess. It's enough damage to win, I think. Yeah, I think I do good enough damage. But yeah, boys, we are officially a mage. And I, I kind of feel sad because I lost my legendary, but hey, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, now all I need is a better armor because my armor is still warrior armor. I mean, it's mage armor, but it's upgraded into warrior. But yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be a hard round, but I think we can clutch. Yeah, I definitely think that uh, all of the newer dungeons should be nerfed because I had a legendary and literally some pretty decent gear and i still like absolutely got destroyed in pirate island see i think these dungeons just need a huge nerf because literally the only way you can win without trading is to go and buy the bundle which uh no, definitely don't do i already said that but i cannot preface that enough that gear is complete garbage in later dungeons but guys now that we've seen a rework to both desert temple and winter outpost there's still one more remaining and that's the level 131 and that one I have the highest hopes for, because it's not actually a rework, but it's a completely new dungeon. Alright boys, we're about to level up our first time in Pirate Island. And honestly, this gear is carrying so hard. Like, I would not be able to win this without this gear. But it came at a cost of my, my beautiful legendary. It's very sad. But I'm not gonna lie, we're actually leveling up like crazy, bro. One level up in one dungeon? Because this- Because you guys have to remember, this isn't like Winter Outpost. I only need to level up 10 times, rather than 30 times. So we're gonna actually- We're actually gonna progress like crazy. But yeah, honestly, the difficulty of this dungeon, I think the monsters just have too much health. If it wasn't for that, this dungeon would actually be, like, pretty good. Because the monsters aren't really, like, overpowered. They don't run too fast. Also, I think you can cheese it if you just walk on this wall. Cheese, cheese? Oh, let's go. Yeah, boys, this is gonna be a really clutch match, so I actually gotta lock in, dude. Only six minutes left. I actually have some pretty overpowered spells. I have a level 50 spell and a level 30 spell. That's a lot better than the freaking level 1 spells I had. Also, what the- What? What is this guy doing? Yo, bro is hacking. And is like skating on the ground or something. Yeah, honestly, I think in difficulty, this dungeon's actually easier than the Winter Outpost rework. But just because of the monsters, dude. They're not like- They don't spawn kill you and they're not really RNG. Dude, if I lose with this new gear, that's actually gonna be embarrassing. This boss- this is so hard because these pirate guys like they make you have to they, they make you camp i don't like it stop 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 please 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 all right i'm, I'm chill i'm chill please die let's see if i can kill him there we go yeah guys we got four minutes on the clock we got to really lock in but we just got a few more groups of monsters and we'll be at the final boss which this final boss is one of my favorites i very much like this boss yeah it feels good to finally be playing something new you guys don't see it in the you guys don't see it in the video there's so much time that you guys don't see of me just grinding over and over like it takes hours to actually make these videos but hey you guys seem to 
like it, so I'll continue doing it. All right, two minutes on the clock. We really got to lock in right now. I think we can do it, though. I think we can do it. We're going to try and group these monsters because I don't have really the time to be able to not do that. Oh my gosh, quit dying. Yeah, I cannot afford to die on this final boss. I have to completely no-hit it because even one death will... I'll lose with even one death, man. All right, boys, one minute. One minute for the pirate. This is going to be, in fact, clutch. Yeah, this, like, this new ice attack or whatever is way better than the searing beam. Right, I'm locked in. I'm a pro dodger. I can do this. Less than a minute left, but that's okay. This is gonna be the biggest clutch of 2024. Okay, he should be dead. Only 30 seconds remain. Yes, sir! Let's go! And I got trash. But boys, we might actually be able to get to nightmare mode this episode. Well, maybe not, but it, we're, we're leveling up like crazy. This XP boost, it's insane. And all and doing it all as a free-to-play player, you know? Yeah, in all honesty, I think this dungeon is slightly better than the Winter Outpost rework. I know that's kind of like crazy to say, but I just think this is so much more like forgiving. It's so much nicer to you. Like the Winter Outpost rework, that dungeon is brutal. That feels like one of the very late game dungeons. This dungeon just feels kind of laid back, you know? The dodging is fairly simple. And I really think that's what the Winter Outpost rework should have been. But the map is obviously better, dude. Honestly, I don't think this dungeon really needs a rework. Uh, but it definitely needs some modifications. Like, I think the map would probably do well with getting quite a few improvements. Honestly, the simplicity of this dungeon just makes it so good. Like, the monsters not being too difficult and having very fair patterns, I think is really what's good about this. Like, I don't like dodging a billion different things, you know? I like to keep it simple. Also, we are at six minutes. Dude, we are actually improving on this dungeon. But guys, the future of this series is bright. Uh, I just definitely need to get good drops, because if I don't get good drops, it's gonna be very, very brutal. But guys, I'm thinking for the level 130 dungeon, I'm thinking we see a city dungeon, you know? Because we've never... At, we've never actually seen a city dungeon before, and I feel like it would be good. And also, we leveled up again. I don't know. I have maybe bad ideas for dungeons, but, but I don't know. You guys have to tell me if you think that's a good idea. And guys, we are already level 63, so we, we're progressing like crazy. Honestly, we're progressing faster in this dungeon than in Winter Outpost. Because for every one level of this dungeon, it counts for like three of three in Winter Outpost. Yeah, honestly, I just very much love this boss. He's pretty easy. It just feels fun to fight against him. The moves are very fair, which I think should be implemented in the, I guess, dungeon reworks. I mean, Desert Temple is fine, but Winter Outpost, way too hard. Please, I got, oh my gosh, I got trash. But yeah, guys, this journey is looking great so far. Honestly, like, I'm leveling up so much faster in Pirate Island. This might actually be my favorite dungeon yet. But boys, we are so close to hardcore mode. And then we'll be in King's Castle. But yeah, I think we might actually need to go and trade for better loot. Because, yeah, we don't really have that great of gear. Also, guys, I actually got traded a legendary. Uh, I don't know why. Some guy literally just gave it to me for free. So, yeah, we, we could use this to get some better gear. But, yeah, I really like this dungeon just because of how simplistic it is. Like, it really just feels fun to play. It's not overly difficult. It's a very leisurely dungeon. But, boys, if you've been watching the channel for a while, we are actually so close to 10k. My username says subscribe. Uh, definitely subscribe, please. Now, guys, I thought of a new change for Dungeon Quest. What do you guys think about a level 200 plus lobby? Uh, I don't know. I feel like it would be kind of cool. Because if you're ever in, like, lobby 2, bro, noobs be asking you for carries, like, every single second. It's, it's very annoying. And also just kind of like a trading hub for higher level players. Because if you guys have traded in Dungeon Quest before, uh, yeah, it, it's very hard to trade in this game. Like, there's so many different dungeons and so many different players of different levels that trying to find a person who has the thing you want, yeah, that's practically impossible. Oh my gosh, I might actually die here. This is very annoying, dude. These, these infected guys, like, how am I, what? What am I supposed to do? We might actually need to clutch this dungeon, honestly. Yeah, like, look at this. What am I supposed to do, bro? Boys, we only have four minutes left. If I die, uh, that would be kind of embarrassing. 
Okay, we beat the first boss, and we got a level up. Well, it's the second boss, but... And yeah, boys, we're only one level away from Nightmare. But yeah, it's crazy to think that we're already on episode 5, and we still got so much longer to go. To you guys who have been watching the series, you know, it only gets good from here. But yeah, I think with the level 200 plus lobby, I don't even know where it would be located. Like, the first one was in a grassy area, the second one was in a snowy area, because, like, there's really no place to trade for higher level players. Yeah, trading in this game is brutal i do not trade anymore and i actually think it's kind of a big issue with this game there just really isn't a great space to trade for like obviously higher level players because honestly like i consider level 100 to be a noob like if you're level 100 you're kind of low level now all right we beat the dungeon and we got absolute garbage but boys i'm gonna hop on wave defense until we get to nightmare mode oh we're back we're back here now but hey it's apparently it's apparently the fastest way to level up and we need to level up fast because we got to make it to king's castle but guys what do you think about cosmetic trading i mean we already have that with gifting but i don't know i feel like it would be kind of a cool system to be able to trade like cosmetics with each other i don't know that just seems kind of cool because i have some cosmetics that i definitely regret buying and boys we are so close just a sliver of xp more pirate island we've been leveling up like crazy and boys what if i drop a legendary in this new dungeon all right we leveled up so let's hop in the dungeon now boys before i actually get into nightmare mode uh i gotta trade for better gear because right now i'm using trash but yeah i have this legendary here uh so let's hope i get something good now boys i actually found a player who gave me a really decent offer for my legendary so yeah even though it was a downgrade i did accept the trade but boys our set is looking really crazy now but unfortunately i can't equip this legendary until i actually get to level 68 so yeah let's do a few more dungeons dude let's see how good this set is we're right now in nightmare mode so it's definitely gonna be a little bit harder but you know i'm a pro dungeon quest player now the one thing i really need right now is new spells because i'm still using the winter outpost spells but yeah i definitely can win this i'm not doing as much damage as i was in insane mode but you know it's still enough but yeah i really think that the only thing this dungeon could improve on is uh the map the map is good but it isn't amazing it's not like the winter outpost map but honestly i think that they should actually go and nerf winter outposts because right now i think it's way too difficult like for the second dungeon you have like 50 different patterns at the same time it's it's hard bro all right we're here on my least favorite boss uh the spider queen dude i just hate this boss bro if they could rework one thing it would have to be this boss because like they just trap you in the corner there it's not fun dude also for some reason these guys are just like invincible what Oh my gosh, no, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Please, stop, 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 stop! Oh my, bro. Yeah, the old dungeons are very buggy, if I'm being honest. Also, we are, we are three minutes and we haven't even beaten the second boss. That, that is embarrassing, bro. Okay, he should die now. Maybe Nightmare is a little bit harder than I thought. Okay, please die, please die. Oh my gosh, if I die. Nope, nope, I got him. There we go. Two minutes and 40 seconds left. I might have to put intense music here. It's like everything in this game one-shots me. It's actually getting so annoying now. And even with that, my damage isn't great. Dude, two minutes left. Uh, I do not know if I'm going to be able to win this. Yeah, if I'm being honest, this is going to be very, very close. We have a minute left. Please 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 all right there we go yeah 58 seconds left uh i don't know if we're winning this but hey at least we got a level up so i'll take it bro we have to do 3.5 million damage in 30 seconds yeah like that's even possible oh my gosh i missed my power but dude in two more level ups we'll finally be able to use our legendary hey you know it was closer than i thought i got him to below half but guys we're gonna win it this time and we should also get our legendary pretty soon and then we'll be on king's castle but guys what do you think about boss raids being added to higher dungeons because if you guys like remember boss raids or if you guys are at the level of boss raids which if you are uh i wish you the best of luck but boss raids honestly i feel like could be a good alternative game mode to dungeon quest like imagine yokaya peaks boss raids 
I don't know, bro. I think boss raids really just needs a set, like a remaster, a second chance. Cause I think the concept of it is really good, but in practice, it's just, it's not great. It felt overly repetitive. And at the start, uh, when you would win a boss raid, you wouldn't actually get loot. You'd only get loot 30% of the time. So it was very demotivating to play boss raids, which is also why many YouTubers quit the game. Boss raids is honestly what killed this game off. But I feel like if it's done again, it could really benefit the game. Because me personally, I never really hated boss raids. I thought it was pretty fun. Trying to progress in boss raids, it is very hard. I don't even know how I'm going to do boss raids in this series. Because boss raids functions in a way where getting tier 30 is the most pretty pretty much impossible as one player like you can't do it as a solo player but, you know we're gonna prove that wrong we're gonna solo all the way from tier 1 to tier 30 and if you don't know what that means uh don't worry but bro we've been leveling up like crazy king's castle is soon king's castle is soon dude i hate this boss so much bro the spider queen is so annoying Dude, this boss just needs a nerf. Remove the guys at the sense. Remove it. Actually remove it. Like, what am I supposed to do? Dude, what am I supposed to do? No, I'm dead. I'm actually dead. I'm dead. But yeah, we're gonna win this, bro. And we're gonna get a very rare item. We're gonna get a legendary. Please, please die. Th please, 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 please. Don't kill me. Dude, I need to beat him. I need to beat him now. Bro, I don't even care. I'm gonna wait it out. All right, there we go. We beat the boss with five minutes left. This match, we're gonna win. And we'll win our first Pirate Island Nightmare match. Yeah, I don't even know how the rest of this series is gonna go if I'm already struggling in Pirate Island. Keep in mind, this is the third dungeon. I think there's like 14 in the entire game. No, 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 stop. Dude, I don't, I'm actually trolling right now. What the? Yeah, this boss might actually be one of my favorite ones in the game. I don't know why, but he's so cool. Like his, his attacks are very fair, which is what I like about him. But yeah, the bosses in future dungeons, uh, I don't even know how they're gonna be, bro. I've not played, some of the old dungeons I have not played in years. So it's pretty much like experiencing it for the first time. Cause I used to really not like this dungeon and I still like the map isn't great, but I think this dungeon is very fair and a really good one for new players. Like, I don't know. I just very much like it. Boys, please, let's get something good. And, ooh, that's not bad. I'll take it, Earth One, for quite a bit of damage. But yeah, according to my calculations, this should do over 3,000 damage. And, yep, I was right. But boys, looking into the sun, looking into the sky, we will become the best Dungeon Quest player. You know, I don't know why I'm in a public server, but yeah, we'll be at the top of the leaderboard. Level 252. Yeah, just two more level ups until we can get our legendary. Well, pretty much one, because we're nearly at level 67. Yeah, XP boosts in this game. XP boosts in this game are crazy. If you ever get the chance to buy one, buy it over anything. Like, take take them over cosmetics. But yeah, Dungeon Quest actually recently hit a new high for player count. Like, Dungeon Quest, I think, hit... 10,000 players at one point uh yeah that was due to the hunt but i also think dungeon quest is slowly becoming popular again like the game really is starting to actually get some success and yeah maybe it will blow up again and the developers are definitely making the right choices yeah imagine we see this game at the top of the home page you know this game was at one point the most popular game on the platform so, you know it would be kind of crazy to see it there again boys the future of dungeon quest is bright if you're a new player who isn't at the max dungeon definitely grind out this game it's very worth playing but yeah boys i'm so excited for king's castle king's castle is honestly like my favorite dungeon in the game and then the underworld which uh is my least favorite dungeon yeah i really don't even know why people like the underworld so much it just isn't great in my opinion okay we gotta please please what is this game stop 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 please no no this is actually one of the most annoying bosses in dungeon quest and it's not even the attacks it's the stupid monsters that chase you the freaking green hobbling monsters bro please oh my god oh, what is this game right now what is this game like they just keep spawning they just keep spawning okay okay please 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 all right we got we got the boss here yeah if you guys are like higher level players i didn't really mention this before but i actually have a clan for dungeon quest which is for level 220 plus it's the discord server link in the description anyone can join though but it's preferred that you're level 220 plus because that's when you can actually join the raids 
Yeah, honestly, I kind of ran out of things to talk about. Like, in this series, you guys have heard me yap about practically everything in this game. Every single problem, every single thing that I like about this game. So yeah, if you guys have things I can yap about, uh, please give me them. Dude, we are so close to level 68, and then we'll finally be able to use the legendary. Next dungeon, we'll be able to use it. And dude, we will be one of the most powerful players, bro. We will be able to tear through this dungeon. Considering the fact that this legendary does, uh... Yeah, double the damage of my weapon already. Yeah, I don't know why they did this, but all of the new dungeon bosses, they have so much health now. Like for dungeons like this, we it takes about like a minute to two minutes to kill a boss. In the newer dungeons that they've released, like the reworks, bro, it can actually take like five minutes to kill a single boss. It is not fun, bro. I do not like spending that much time fighting a boss. So yeah, that's one thing I really like about Pirate. All right, please give me something good. And we got garbage. Okay. Now, boys, I actually forgot to go and collect my daily reward. So yeah, let's see what we get. And garbage. Oh, wait, no, that's not garbage. Yo, no chance. Yo, let's go. We finally got a spell. We actually got two spells. Dude, nah, that's actually a W drop. We actually got two new mage spells and, and one daily reward. Yeah, that was the best thing I could have gotten right now. Oh my gosh, dude. Bro, once we equip this legendary, we will actually be so stacked. Once we collect this legendary... Oh, nah, that's actually so good. What? Yeah, I'm doing crazy damage right now. This phantom flame ability right here, bro, it is actually one of the best in the game. For newer players, like, you want to make sure you get that ability. It actually used to be called Skull Flames, but they ended up removing it and changing it to Phantom Flames. So, yeah, Skull Flames actually became a really rare item, or a really rare spell, because you can't get it anymore. It's a very, it's a limited item. Boys, we're so close to being able to equip our Legendary. After we kill this boss, we'll have a Legendary in hand. No longer will we use this crappy mage weapon. I feel like the luckiest Dungeon Quest player, although at the same time, I haven't actually dropped anything besides the Winter Outpost Ledge. Okay, should be dead. Should be dead any second. And... Alright, we leveled up. Now we can finally use the legendary that does 6977 damage. And bro, this looks insane. And dude, we, we one-shot them now. We are at a very big high in this series. Dude, like, I actually one-shot them now. It actually feels crazy. But I don't know if it was an L to trade the King's Legendary I got. Because now in King's Castle, I won't actually be able to have a Legendary. So, yeah, I don't know. I think it was a W though, because I really needed the I really needed a better staff. Hey guys, we only have 30 minutes left of our XP boost, so you know once it runs out, it's gonna be kind of sad. Please, please. This is depressing. Okay, hey, run, 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 run. Oh my I hate this game. But boys, look at the drip right here. This legendary looks actually crazy. Along with this shirt right here, this not shirt, this armor piece. It makes for some insane drip. All right, we beat the Spider Queen and we have six minutes left. I was doing horribly. After playing this dungeon for eight levels already, and we're actually about to leave this dungeon now. Honestly, in my opinion, this dungeon really only needs a rework to the actual map. I think everything else could stay. Cause I, coming into this dungeon, I thought this dungeon was a lot worse than it actually was. And coming out, you know, I gained a new respect for this dungeon. It is a very good dungeon in my opinion. But the map is uh, very mid if I'm being honest. Honestly, Pirate Island, if the map was reworked, has a lot of potential. Like I think it is a very good dungeon idea. I think it's a very good dungeon idea. My damage is crazy, dude. Like he does not stand a chance, bro. And let's see what we get. That is garbage. But yeah, boys, part six is on the screen, so definitely go check it out. But anyways, uh, that's about it.